Hey, 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 it's Rosemary here. How are you doing? Okay, this is the thing. You are not judged, leader. Okay? You are loved, not judged. Every part of you is precious. Every thought of yours is powerful to create its corresponding reality in your life. And so though you try to appease a God or your source that you don't understand or see or hear, yet it is you actually who judges you based on the beliefs that you've taken on as your own. And it's time to question those beliefs, don't you think? Time to question the value of beliefs that hinder you and hold you back and cause you to come off your narrow path and go the way of the norms who refuse to question and instead they just kind of take on beliefs delivered to them by anybody, okay? No, you are a leader. You have big vision. You choose to create wealth, abundance, power. You cannot live like a norm anymore. The longer you stay trapped in someone else's thinking, the longer you stray away from the work you're born to do. It is time for you, leader, to tap into your intuition and act on it rather than being afraid of it, okay? Rather than being scared to listen into your inner wisdom because you're afraid that you're inherently evil, rather than taking on the opinions and teachings of anyone else, now it is time really for you to avail yourself of the wisdom within you, okay? So first and foremost, you reconnect with your intuition. So you may call it God, you may call it source, your higher power, universe, whatever. Just tap back into that. Learn to hear the voice again and trust that inner wisdom, okay? And as you learn to hear for yourself, ask about all the different areas of your life, particularly areas where you felt um, particularly stifled or held back in, okay? Your relationship with others, your relationship with yourself. Where do you feel shame? Who do you blame for your current circumstances? Forgive them, forgive yourself. Own every part of you instead of trying to stifle it. Those parts of you that give you the most trouble, like maybe your sexuality or your need for approval from other people or your inability to be happy and satisfied with life as it is or the fear that you'll never bring about the big visions of your life, all of those parts can no longer be swept under the rug and pretended that they don't and pretend that they don't exist. They do exist, leader, okay? They need to be handled. They need to be looked at and you need to shine a light on them so that you can move past them powerfully without all the holdbacks that they bring. Do you understand that you're created to do a great work, to make a load of money, to live a first-class lifestyle, whilst enabling others with your products, your services, your books, your music, your art, your ministry, to do exactly the same? You sense it, but you keep hiding from it because you fear this hidden dark places of your soul. And so I call you out. I ask you to be brave and question things that you've accepted as truth. Do you not see that in order for you to live that incredibly powerful life that you dream of, there is no room for hiding anymore. You have to relentlessly be pushing back against your limits, relentlessly pressing into source, asking and acting on guidance and wisdom, owning all parts of you and showing up powerfully with no apology for who you are. And then you'll start to see the money being thrown at you as people see themselves in you. And, yet, and then you will know exactly how right your big vision is okay you the leader changing lives creating wealth easily as you step into flow and into freedom it's a good vision man it's a good vision rather than this stifled energy you feel as you try to obey other people's rules for you tap back into source love yourself your quirks your story own your sexuality it's fine love all people you don't have to like them all but for your own freedom choose to be a vessel of love anyway and then free yourself of the baggage show up in the marketplace and ask boldly for the sale okay the world awaits your full your bold awakening you are here in this day and age for a reason and it's time to step fully into it, to stop doubting, to start claiming the vision and living it out and demolishing anything that stands in your way internally or externally. You are champion leader. It's time to fight for and to deliberately design the life you were born to live, okay? Now, spirit, sex, success is coming. So you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Um, for six weeks to tap into your intuition, to get back in touch with source, to, to own your sexuality and that whole power that comes out of that. So you start to be a lot more charismatic as a leader, to become, to let go of your story, your old story and your baggage, except the parts that will help your people and to ask for and to receive all the customers, clients, recruits that you want with ease. Okay. That is what that program is going to be about. If you want to find out more and be one of the early bird people, then, um, send me through a private message. Okay. Um, the other thing is this, the exit plan is in place. 
So it's a free, completely free ebook. Go and get that. At, by, you can download it at rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash exit plan five, all words, exit plan five, um, rosemarynonnynight.com, yes. <laughs> rosemarynonunite.com forward slash exit plan five. It's all about how you can transition from whatever it is that you're doing now into a more fulfilling, more successful online business. You can get that at rosemarynonunite.com forward slash exit plan five. It's time to fight for and to deliberately design the life you want to live. Until the next time.